What a photo. Chicago writer and actress Lena Waithe kissing her Emmy Award <laughs> after winning the ultimate prize. Back here at home, folks who know Lena could not be prouder. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli traces her roots back to our area. Lena Waithe has the distinction of being the first African-American woman to win an Emmy for writing in a comedy series. That history-making win for Master of None wasn't lost on Chicago's hometown girl. Thank you for embracing a little Indian boy from South Carolina and a little queer black girl from the south side of Chicago. We, we appreciate it more than you could ever know. On the Lawndale set of her latest series project, The Shy, a family drama she's writing and producing, cast and crew were over the moon. What she has done in breaking barriers for women, for African Americans, it, I mean, this is record breaking. The limits of what she can do are just, are just boundless. Waith was raised on the South Side, but graduated in 2002 from Evanston Township High School, where she was given a shout out on the school's Facebook page today. Love Jones, movies sure. that were sort of shot in Chicago, mm -hmm. my best friend's wedding. She went on to study television writing at Columbia College and returns frequently to speak at classes. Lena is one of those people that we always knew this was coming. You know, you could tell from the minute she got here that she was a bright light. Professors say oh, Waith has become a campus inspiration for students preparing for a field that can be harsh. As a black person myself, I'm really stoked for it. I think that this is a big move. Waith demonstrated her commitment to the South Side and telling its human stories by setting her next project there. The upwards of 200 people working on the show are thankful. I wouldn't be here if it were not for her. I mean, I owe my new career um, as a writer on this show to her. Lena Waith with a win not just for herself, but also Chicago and especially the South Side. And on the South Side, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News.